My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and I have to say I have never been more excited, at least this year, for some Ultimate Legends. So as you guys can see, we do have the new Ultimate Legend Michael Vick as well as Lawrence Taylor and the limited time card is actually going to be Jason Taylor. So a very, very good set of Ultimate Legends. I feel like the only thing they could have done to make this like the ultimate Ultimate Legend drop uh, would probably be Deion Sanders. But Jason Taylor, I'm definitely not too mad with you guys know. Uh, he's like an insane quarterback spot, put him in QB spot, the speed, the jumping, because he used to play safety, and his catching is really, really good. So it's a crazy good QB spot or in general pass rusher. And of course, Lawrence Taylor probably gonna be the best pass rusher in the game, and Mike Vick probably gonna be the most annoying quarterback in the game to play. Uh, today we actually are going to be opening up a bundle. You guys know, I mean Mike Vicks and Pax. We gotta go ahead and rip open an Ultimate Legends bundle for you guys. I know you guys have been wanting to see it, so let's go ahead and get in these packs. And then after these packs are over, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead, check the auction box, see if we can find any of these new cards. As we get Austin Johnson, I'll take team builder players because of course with the team builders, uh, you know, they're gonna be releasing more MVPs. I need some scouts. As we get Johnson, we get Kenny Galladay, so we guess we'll definitely uh, take him. We'll take the 79, I guess we'll take the 75 there. Round two, 83, flashback, 88, Danny Trevathan, okay, that's not very good, uh, we get 89, Michael Vick, okay, I'll take that, and 87, Bill Romanowski, so obviously, I want to try to get this Mike Vick gameplay for you guys, I'm going to take any Michael Vick cards that I possibly can, I'm also doing, I plan on doing anyways, a special pack of me, so as you guys can see, I have a variety of different packs saved up. Let me know if you guys want to see any more different ones. I'm going to get the Legend upgrade set from like the base Legend. Uh, I'll probably try to get like the full Ultimate Legend pack as well. And if there's any more packs you guys want to see, let me know down below. And I'll probably drop that out for you guys maybe, maybe Monday, possibly tomorrow. We'll see exactly what comes out tomorrow. But I'm more than likely probably going to be on Monday for that one. We get 82 Jalen Smith here in round number one. It's not too bad. He's probably like 10K maybe. Uh, what is it? Football Outsider, James Bradbury, 90 overall. Okay, I'll take that, 90 overall in round number one. He's probably not going for too much, but I will definitely take that. And round number two, 86, J.R. Sweezy. 84, Juju. Come on, man, give me someone good. 89, Everson Walls, and 88, Mike Allstott. Of course, we're going to take Everson Walls in this pack. And so far, eh, not bad. Not too good, though, I guess. Uh, but we do have four more Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs remaining. They've got to be good. Please, yeah, give me someone good. Round number one, we get an 80 overall. So at least we get some scouts out of that. We get 78 Tyler Boyd. And unfortunately, we do not get an Elite. So not going too well in round number one. Round two, we get a good one. 92 Adoree Jackson. So at least we know we can take him. We don't get anything too good here. 88 Randall McDaniel, and we get 89 Kevin Green. So I'm obviously going to take a Dory Jackson with this pick, and not only going to take a Dory Jackson, but I'm definitely going to quick sell a Dory Jackson, get those scouts, and now we're up to 24,000 scouts. I'm definitely going to need those uh, later this week when the rest of the team MVPs drop, because you guys know I definitely want to try and get some gameplays with a majority of the new team MVPs, especially if Zeke is in fact going to be the Cowboys which I think he should be, or Dak Prescott, as we get an 85 Chris Long, okay. And we get a couple of elites in round number one. So this is a little bit better. Maybe in round number two now it'll get picked up. 85 Jordan Reed. 94 Bill Romanowski. That's at least like 140K right there, I think. Give me a full Ultimate Legend. 89 Night Train. And 88 Lawrence Taylor. So we're obviously going to take the 94 Bill Romanesque, that's like 120, 130, 140K, somewhere around there. So that definitely was a pretty solid pull. Now, if we can just get that, like out of these last two packs, I'll be okay. And then, of course, we have the topper. So I'll, overall, I think this would be a pretty decent bundle. Uh, 74, Jamon Brown. Give me an elite. Come on. No elite round number one. That's definitely not a good sign. And in round number two, we're going to start off with a high team of the week elite. 84 Kyler. Okay, we already got him. Another high team of the week elite. 86 Sony Michelle. A not so good ultimate legend. 
Is this the full one? 97 Andre Reed out of that Ultimate Legend pack. There we go. We got a full Ultimate Legend. 97 Andre Reed. That's what I like to see out of this. Let's go, man. So at least we got one full Ultimate Legend. Andre Reed. Actually, I got gameplay with this guy. I don't think he's going for that much, though. He's probably like 300k. So I can't be mad at a full Ultimate Legend pool. Not too bad. Next and final Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. And then, of course, we have the topper that we can see how much we uh, just made. And I'll show you guys the stats on the new Ultimate Legends out today. As in round number one, we unfortunately did not get a lead again. But I'm pretty excited after that full Ultimate Legend pull as we get an 87. 83 Andrew Luck. That's terrible. We get a high elite. 94 Anthony Munoz. And we get 88 Mike. Really? Not again. Not again, man. And we're going to have to face against halfback Michael Vick again. If you guys played Madden last year, you know halfback Michael Vick is the most annoying card to play against. This man has 95 speed, 98 excel, 91 elusiveness, 92 break tackle. What's his spin and juke? 93 and 96. My God, that is going to be the biggest pain in the butt to play against. But... We also do have, of course, the 94 plus player topper. Thought I wasn't recording for a second. Uh, we have the 94 plus ultimate legend topper. A lot of the times, you see people open this, and it ends up being a full legend. So, if we can just get a full legend out of this, I'll be super excited. Let's get into it. Come on, man. We get a full legend. 98 Calvin Johnson out of the topper. Let's freaking go. Say that bundle did not start off the best, but it ended on a very high note. Uh, 89 Michael Vick is currently up for 44,000 coins. I'll probably just keep him because I'm more than like complete, uh, complete the set for him. James Bradbury, actually 50k. So right there is 100,000 coins on those first couple of pulls here. Uh, Walls is probably like 30k. Not gonna check him. Bill Romanowski though, 146,000 coins. Should probably keep him and do the uh, the other pack, like the tribute pack. Anthony Munoz is 155k. I'll also probably add him because I need 394 pluses. But Calvin Johnson is still 400,000 coins. And then also Andre Reed, 275k. I'll take it. 675,000 coins. Probably close to 900k. Uh, maybe like 850. I think I made off this bundle. So can't be too mad at that, I gotta say. Actually, no, definitely more than that because I just didn't even add up the uh, 94. So yeah, probably a million coins just made out that bundle. Cannot be too mad at that win. Two full Ultimate Legend pulls in that middle. Make sure you guys smack the like button on the video if you guys did enjoy. But let's go ahead and take a look at the auction block and check out these new players. I'm sure Mike Vick's gonna be super expensive. He's probably gonna be like ridiculously expensive. Oh no, he's actually not that that expensive. Uh, is he below a mil already? Lawrence Taylor is below a mil, so he's at 920k. Now, obviously, I don't have a good right to linebacker pair him too on the Ultimate Cowboys team, but LT has 92 speed, 96 excel, 96 strength with a 97 block shed, 98 power move, 94 finesse with a 75 catch. He has a 94 tackling, 85 jumping at six foot three with a zone of a 70 and a hit power of a 90 freaking six. If you think this card isn't the best pass rusher in the game, you are absolutely out of your mind. This man is without a doubt the best pass rusher in the game. You need him on your team. He's an absolute freak. Michael freaking Vic, though. My God. I cannot wait to pick this card up later and get some gameplay with this man. 94 speed, 97 throw power, 94 short with 88 medium, 92 throw deep with a 92 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and a 91 play action. Yeah, this card is ridiculous. This card is absolutely insane. He also has a 97 acceleration with a 97 agility. My God, what's a spinning juke? Carries a 66. Spinning juke, though? 92 and 95. Dang. That's pretty freaking... I gotta say, I thought it'd be a little bit higher, but 92 and 95 is still absolutely ridiculous. And overall, this card is probably gonna be the best QB in the game. And I cannot wait to pick that card up and get some gameplay with him later today. And then we also have the limited time Jason Taylor. He was going for 2 million coins comparing to Bradley Chubb, I guess. Uh, he's got 88 speed, 91 acceleration, a 91 strength, 91 tackling, 98 play rank. Block shed's a little low. Only a 90. But he has 97 finesse move, 92 power move. And, of course, the rest of his stats catching-wise, 74 catching. Uh, jumping's a 90 at 6 foot freaking 6. That's why I love this man at QB spot because he just lurks everything. 
Uh, and he's got 87 hit power as well, which isn't the best, but not too bad. And he's got a 58 spectacular catch, so yeah, this card is pretty phenomenal. I'd say overall, if you're going to use Jason Taylor at right end, uh, he's maybe the best option out right now. I mean, the blocks should still, in my opinion, a little bit too low. I like Aaron Donald's NFL Honors card, so maybe you want to go that way. But you guys definitely need to pick up at least Lawrence Taylor today if you can. And Michael Vick, I mean, nasty. I mean, you pick this man up, right? If you put the Falcons cam on him and you put John Madden and all that sprinter, he's going to have 99 freaking speed. 99 speed Michael Vick is going to be impossible to contain with a great throw power 97, 94 short. Obviously, the medium's a little bit low at 88, but 98 throw on the run, 92 throw on pressure, not on play action. I will do my best to go ahead, pick up Michael Vick for you guys later today, and try to get some gameplay. As of right now, Michael Vick is about 970k. Yeah, that's not even that bad. So I'm definitely going to go ahead, pick up Michael Vick right after this video is done. Get some gameplay, push that out to you guys later today. Hope you guys are excited. Smack the like button, subscribe and comment if you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.